Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient, whom I have not seen for almost two years now. He lost 50 pounds and got off diabetic and cholesterol medication all naturally. Let's find out what he did to lose the weight and the mass. Okay, we have Quincy back. Hi. How you doing, Quincy? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while, huh? Been a while. Yeah, yeah. So I'm the only one cut your nails, right? Other than yourself, right? Correct. So he's been waiting. You've been waiting for me, right? Waiting. Yeah, yeah. Look at look at this one. This one's gonna be a lot of work. So we'll work on these, and then you have some other problems that we're gonna fix as well. But we're gonna get these nails and uh, some of these calluses down first, okay? And then we go from there, right? Okay. You look great, Quincy. What happened? You you lost a lot of weight, huh? Yeah. How'd you do it? No, you didn't tell me your secret? No. No, <laughs> you didn't tell me a secret, okay. So, Slowly but surely. Uh, yeah, uh, took how long? Oh, two years. Oh, two years now? Oh, how, how much did you lose? I was probably about, yeah, about 50. 50, yeah. 50? You look great. Yeah. You look at least at least 20 years younger. I'm trying. Yeah, <laughs> you're trying. Okay. Yeah, you look great. How how's your how's your diabetes? Did it did it help the diabetes? Yes. You did, huh? Yeah. Were you able to get off medicine or? Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. All of them. All of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Great job. Wow. Six point five. Oh, six point five. Oh, that's great. Without medication? Yeah. Really? Wow. You're watching your diet though, right? So what do you what do you what did you have to quit? Um, Some good stuff, huh? Fast food. Fast food. No more fast <laughs> food. What what was your favorite fast food? Uh, I would say uh, burritos. Oh, burritos. <laughs> really? Which it still is, but in a different kind of way. Oh, really? More vegetables. Oh, really? So. <laughs> So how do you how do you put more vegetables in the burritos? You put some extra in there? Extra onions and cilantro. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I do the same thing. Yeah. I found this one uh, burrito place. Oh my god, incredible! So I eat there every every Sunday now. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Mm. They have a special uh, tortilla. Which, oh, yeah. I, which I shouldn't be eating too much, but, you know, it's not that much compared to what I eat. I don't put rice in there, you know? Yeah. So I just have beans and I like pastor, you know, the pork. Oh, pastor. Yeah, that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then it's a little bit spicy, but I kind of like it. I love spicy. You like it spicy, huh? Yeah. yeah, we Koreans love spicy. I'm not much of a spice person, but by by default, I have to eat some of the spicy ones, you know? I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's very hot. Very hot. You like yeah. it. You like it really hot. Yeah. Actually, being hot food is actually good for you. Good for your health, actually. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. It burns calories and it's really good for your health. Good. So it gets your metabolism firing. You know, all that good, man. Right? I think I'll uh, go get something today. No, <laughs> this yes. made me hungry. Exactly. Just talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. What else? You you got? So you're doing a little bit of burritos, and then but what other fast food that was? That you had to cut out. Well, you know, I, I was always off of soda, so oh. that, that wasn't a problem. You know oh, I mean? that's right. You got off the soda, right? Yeah. Before then. Before then. Uh huh. And Did you start exercising? Yeah. Tried it. I tried to, but my ankle was hurting. Oh, I see. You know, How about you had the Peloton? Remember? Yes. Yeah, How was that? Yeah. You, you doing that? Yeah. So that you're okay. Your ankle's okay with that, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's a good exercise. How much Peloton are you doing? As much as I can to pay that $45, $49 a month. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. That's a good, that's a good, good deal. Yeah. You do it almost every day or? No, probably three times. Well, three times a week? Oh, that's, yeah. that's good still. Yeah. So. And then the portion control? Portion control. Uh -huh. um, Create my own garden, my own vegetables. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Now, that's that's huge. Yeah. I kind of started, too, but I couldn't continue. 
Yeah, it takes, it takes a lot of... Yeah, well, the problem is I get home so late. It's already dark, you see. Right. And then I go, oh, should I go out or not, right? <laughs> I have my mother-in-law doing a lot of it, so I ended up not doing it. You know what I mean? Well, this is the right time to do it. It is, right? Yes. Yeah, we have a bunch of seeds. I have lots of seeds now. So what are you, what are you growing now? I'm growing um, lemongrass, mm -hmm. uh, cilantro, basil. Uh, wow. What else? Uh, lemons, blueberries. Oh, blueberries. Strawberries. My favorite, uh, wow. Oh, lettuce. Oh, lettuce. Romaine lettuce, butter lettuce. Oh, wow. And, uh, and Mm -hmm. Or collard greens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got all the good stuff. And uh, mint. Oh, mint, yeah. yeah that goes with mint. everything. And, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm out there. Wow. That's amazing. Asparagus. Um, Asparagus, well, that's, wow. That's coming out next in the winter. Uh huh. But it's already set to go. Wow. And uh, green onions. Green onions, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got a lot going on. Yeah. So, how much time do you spend out there? I go out there every day. Oh, every day? Yeah, just to turn my soil, uh -huh. keep it, you know, uh, just pamper it. How, do, how uh, did you learn how to do all this? You, you got watch a YouTube? No, no, I just they got that green thumb, you know. Oh, really? So yeah. you already got it, see? Yeah. I got no green thumb. You know, I, I create my own, build my own garden and everything. Really? Yeah. You just naturally, you just knew naturally, what to do? Yeah. Really? Wow. It's nice to be natural at that. I, I wish I could. I'm just not natural at a lot of stuff, especially gardening is not my thing. Well, you know, you can, uh, the way to grow your lettuce, and it just, it just pops up now. Uh -huh. um, what, what I did, Probably about years ago, mm -hmm. I, I buy you know the romaine lettuce, mm -hmm. organic romaine lettuce. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, people just cut that bottom end of the romaine mm -hmm. and they throw that away. Mm -hmm. You don't throw that away. No, you put it in the ground. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll grow as a so, like like a fertilizer. Yeah. Wow. No, it grows romaine lettuce. Oh, it does? Yeah. You just You just dump it there and then it grows. You put it in there. Uh, amazing, huh? <clears throat> Life is just amazing, huh? Down, it yeah, yeah. In two weeks, three weeks, it's... you got a flower coming up and it's romaine lettuce. Really? Yeah. Wow. Amazing, huh? Yeah. Just full of life. Just Yep. Yeah. It just keep growing without your input. You, know, yeah. you just do it, and they just grow. And you know? now they just pop up, the seeds just all over the place. Mm -hmm. Wow, this one is really hard. <laughs> this nail is like yeah, like right. a rock. I'm using I'm using every tool I have here. I need a bigger tool actually, but I'll I'll do what I could here. Okay, there you go. Wow. Okay, and then. How often you harvest? Like every day, little by little, here and there. Yeah. Um, and then, so you got different ones, you know. Uh huh. And then, so you got different vegetables, like every day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now that's that's the level that I want to get to. My harvest for my collard greens is every three weeks. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wow. And that's on what three plants? Wow. So you don't need a lot of space either, huh? No. They grow a lot. Yeah. You think you need a big farm, but you really don't, no, right? You yeah, I know. I, I I watch some garden shows and everything now, and then that's what they tell me. And then I watch. I like watching it, but going out and doing it is something else, you know. Yeah. And then the weekend, I get so busy with my son's soccer games and all the other activities. It's hard to do it. I just have to get up early in the morning, right? Is the morning yeah. a good time to? Oh yeah, go do best the, time to pick. Pick and all that, right? Pick morning or evening. Uh huh. And water. Does your wife help you with uh, some of the picking or no? Yeah. This is your project. Yeah. Project. Only you can touch this stuff. Yeah. But the whole family is enjoying all the yeah. good vegetables. The fruits and, yeah. Ah. The, um, I have. Uh, it's, it's good to have uh, four blueberry trees 
for four family members in the house. Really? Yeah. What, what do you mean? Each each treatment get? Well, I mean, you know, because the blueberries only grow so much on there, so it's a good requirement. A good rule of thumb is to have like four trees for mm -hmm. a household of four people. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That way, you get enough. Yeah. Uh, I I just got some lemon. I have a lemon tree. Mm -hmm. I just got a bunch of lemons. So my my um, avocado tree died. They didn't plant it properly because it had too much water to it. Right. So now I have to do some new avocado tree because I love avocado. I eat avocado every day, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have avocado? I was mine didn't grow right. No. Yeah. Yeah, avocado's not easy, huh? I have Something. no quads. What is that? It's like a fruit. Uh huh. It's really sweet it's, uh, fruit. Mm hmm. And uh, and I got tomatoes too. Oh, tomatoes, yeah. Tomatoes yeah. basic, huh? It's just yeah, that's yeah. basic. First. I don't even want to grow it. It just popped up. Yeah, it just they just they just keep growing. There there are a lot of different kinds of tomatoes too. The little ones, you know. Yeah, it's the heirlooms. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you gotta do it before uh, uh Bill Gates has got a big old farm out there getting ready to give you some genetically modified fruits. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> You trying to? We we gotta go organic though, right? Uh -huh. As much organic as we can. Got to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And you'd be surprised. Uh -huh. um, you can buy you just a regular generic uh, vegetables out of the or, or lettuce out of the out of the store, mm -hmm. and our our celery, and you plant it in your garden, it'll turn so organic and green. Mm -hmm. And it's just a big difference, you know, mm -hmm. from the store. Wow. Now, this nail is going to be pretty hard here. As you can see, it's got some... I'm going to have to grind this down a little bit because I don't want to cut you here. I started cutting into your skin here because it's, I couldn't see how this thing is kind of wrapped around here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to do this very carefully. I'm going to have to grind it down a little bit and then chisel it off a little bit at a time. It's not a normal looking nail, as you can see. Yeah. So it's gonna take some time to do that. I'll yeah. come back and... Have to make another visit. Yeah, well, I'm to see you more often now. I've seen you yeah. at least a couple of years, look like. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do that. Well, I'll do as much as I can today to get that down. But really good to see you doing the, all the natural stuff. I think that has a lot to do with uh, your body becoming, you know, more efficient at uh, using energy. You know, when you eat a lot of vegetables, especially organic, you know, growing, you grow yourself, you know. That's like the really important thing that people need to be doing, kind of getting back to the nature, you know. Mm -hmm. When we're eating all the artificial stuff and everything, our body's just stressed out and then tend to retain um, a lot of the weight and things like that, so I'm glad. Are you, so are you taking any medication now? Or you, you you got off of the diabetic medicine you said? Yeah. I'm just taking uh, Carvedrol for my heart. Oh, your heart? Yeah. Were you taking cholesterol medication too? Uh, Crestor, yeah. But you're not taking it anymore? No. Oh, wow. So you got off of cholesterol medication and what else? Uh, uh, diabetes. And then, and then how about, were you taking blood pressure medicine? No. No? Okay. So, so naturally, when you did that, you naturally got rid of the diabetic medication and the cholesterol medicine? Wow, amazing. Great job. You'd be the poster child for the um, all the good good living. Exercise and you know, planting, gardening, you know, all that is really, really helping you. It's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word gardening in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Some of these calces out. This is like, this is like a little rock here too. This is really hard right here. Yeah. I'm gonna have to grind that one down. So when did you get off the medicine? Like, uh, how long did it take before you started getting off the medicine? For about a year. About a year. So did did you tell your doctor, and then your doctor said not to take it anymore? Yeah. Oh really? Oh good.
Okay, so I got this brand new water spring machine here. T1000. Huh? <laughs> no, they always say T1000. I don't know how to use this machine yet, so I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, too much water. I'm gonna spray some water first, and then we're gonna do some grinding. Works pretty well, huh? Keep the dust down. Yeah, keep the dust down. I have to keep the switch on and off now because of the, we'll do a little bit more water. Look at that, Quincy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting all the nails down pretty well. This is a really strong drill. A little too much water, which I can't control that much, that well. But you can see how I got all the nails down, you see? Yeah. Start dusting pretty quickly now. We get the water down a little bit. Oh, is this more water? <laughs> it seems like it's more water. See how much I got this down, see? Quite a bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because look how much. More, more juice on this one. So you went to the doctor and then asked him if he can get off the medicine, or how did you, how did you figure to get off the medicine? Just, you know, you, you huh? Check your sugar and then there's nothing there. Why? What did you be on it, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. You gotta, so you gotta tell yourself. Yeah. So you told the doctor that you're gonna be getting off. Yeah. And then he had no problem with it, right? Because obviously. I just. Less visits. Hmm? Less visits, right? Yeah. How often do you check your sugar, though? Do you, do you, do you I, check it? I'm always checking it every morning and every afternoon. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you know, I have a machine now. Put it on my stomach. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it tells me every five minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't cheat. Nice. Yeah. So. What kind of is it's called the Continuous Glucose Monitor. You can get one through your insurance. Really? Yeah. Do they, uh, you have to stick you with something? Or, or is, it, or is it like a pad on you? Or yeah, yeah. So it has a little needle that's like really fine. It doesn't, no pain or anything. Right. And then it's got like a gun. And then you shoot it to your skin and then it, you have a little sticky thing and sticks. And then you put some things around it to make sure that you, it, it's uh, waterproof. You right? put it on every day? Uh, no, it lasts 10 days. 10 days? Yeah, and then you hook it up with your phone, your phone? with an app, and then it uh, it tells you every five minutes. Well, that's yeah, you should get one because I, I recommend it for all diabetics. It, it changed my life. When I got it, I don't mm -hmm. have to poke my fingers anymore, you know? Right. On top of that, it really 
keeps me in line because if I do something and if it, it, it goes up, then then I know what to do with it. You know, mm -hmm. it's a really great way to control all that. I'll let you know when it, when it gets to what what point. Yeah, and then I started testing myself as to what what makes it go up and what makes it go down. Right? right. I mean, it's like it's really perfect. It tells you like exactly what to do. You know. You can you can set it huh? oh, to where you want it. Well, yeah, and then and then it tells you. It tells you if um, you need to take it easy on the sugar, you know? Mm -hmm. Give you alert, huh? Yeah, alert, and then um, it basically... If I eat something and it goes up, right? Mm -hmm. Then you know you have to bring it down. So I go on my treadmill and start walking, you know, right away, and it comes, comes down, right? Mm -hmm. So you know how to manage it. And it's not just eating. If you're stressed out and if you're not sleeping well, sugar just up. <laughs> so it, it, it really teaches you how to control your sugar the best way possible. Mm -hmm. And after a while, you know exactly what to do because, you know. You can see it, you know. Right. So you, could, you have to, you, then you're really, really more careful because you don't want to overdo it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then you, you you can figure out exactly what food is bringing them up, how it, how it's um, you know how you'll be able to manage it, you know. Right. All of that is done perfectly. So I highly recommend all the diabetics to get the machine. It's covered by insurance, you know. So absolutely, I think it's a, it's a must for all the diabetics. And you know how much to exercise, you know what exercises actually brings down the sugar the most, you know. Right. And I realized that um, I, I was doing a lot of weight training, mm -hmm. which helps too, but you have to sweat. When you start sweating with your, you know, walking or aerobic or other exercise, mm -hmm. that's when the sugar goes down the most. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you, you know, I learned a lot by having this machine because I read a lot of books about it, but books really don't tell you exactly how to bring it down. They tell you just cut out the sugar, right? right. But it doesn't tell you how to bring it down. down. Yeah, so it's it's amazing. So it's all about sweating. Huh? Yeah, it's about sweating. You have to sweat it out, and I realize that if you sweat it out with the, any kind of muscle exercise, mm -hmm. either of like a really speedy like like circuit training, mm -hmm. or do uh, like a uh, like stairs or or like a incline mm -hmm. incline like a treadmill, mm -hmm. that's when it goes down the most. I mean, it'll drop like 200 points, like in 30 minutes. Really? Yeah, like really fast. So you got to really burn, learn how to burn it, you know, properly. So it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing tool. I highly recommend for people to get it. Okay, here's a, here's a little tough one right here. Because I don't know what's happening down here with this nail. Yeah, you can just ask your doctor, you know, yeah. for once, so you can prevent, you know, it getting worse, or you, you don't want to get any worse, like, right? Because you don't know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know how to manage the sugar, you know. Yeah. So for this nail, I'm just grinding it down as much as I can, because I don't want to make it bleed, you know. Seems like the nail is really kind of stuck to the skin yeah. underneath. Yeah, skin underneath it. Mm -hmm. If I cut too much, it's gonna bleed. I'm just gonna get it down, and I'm gonna do a little by little, you know. Whenever I see you, so it may take a few visits to get this nail down, you know. So, what do you think about my ankle part? Yeah, well, we just got some X-rays, right? So let's take a look. We may have to do some herbal injection for you. Remember, you do. We were doing that before. Right. Yeah, we may have to do that. I have a lot stronger medication now, herbal medication. So hopefully, may be able to help you even more. Okay. Yeah, this is the part that I need to be careful right here, not to overdo it. It, it looks like it's stuck to your skin underneath here.
This bird is really, really good. See how it's got that toenail really flattened? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let's clean it up a little and take a look, okay? So, we got this nailed down quite a bit. And this one's going to be a work in progress here because of the nail down here is really stuck to the skin underneath and I don't want to make it bleed here. The other nails, I got it down quite a bit. Look, pretty good. This one I got down quite a bit. And then this one too, all these other nails. We're working on it, okay? So, very good, okay? So we're good for today, okay? You did a lot, we did a lot today. I haven't seen you in almost two years now, so. Okay, Quincy? Yes, sir. Thank you for allowing us to film you today, okay? No problem. We'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. As you can see on this video with the conversation with my patient, that gardening is an excellent way to improve your diet and lose weight all naturally. When you eat from what you grow, you can naturally lose weight, which in turn can improve your health dramatically. Let's start your gardening today. For more videos just like this one, tap that subscribe button and check out my next video here. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.